The image, the video, the voice, none of it's real. This is a completely AI generated version of me and I can put myself anywhere in the world. In order to do this, we'll collect some photos of ourselves, train a custom AI model with those photos to generate images of us inside different movie scenes. Then we can animate those still photos into dynamic AI videos. And we'll even add our own voices to them. The first step is to generate AI photos of ourselves. I'll be using the site replicate.com. Check the description for links. Inside the search bar, typing ostrus. We're looking for this Ostrus Flux Dev Laura Trainer to train a custom image model that generates photos of ourselves in different movie scenes. I know it looks pretty overwhelming, but it's actually pretty simple to use. The destination folder is where the custom AI model gets stored. I'll go with Tau Movie, and I'll also set it as a private model. Next, we need a data set. This can just be a collection of photos of you, but Really try to pick high quality photos if you can. The data set is the most important part of this process. You'll need at least 10 images. I've already compressed mine to a zip file over here. And so I'll just upload it into the model trainer. The trigger word is a sequence of letters which the AI learns to associate with your photos. So later when you prompt using the trigger word, it creates photos of you. Make sure to use a sequence of letters that isn't already commonly used in the English language. I'll use TOPRT, short for tile prompts. The auto caption prefix lets us give a short text description to include with the photos. I'll use photo of an Asian man, which is me. The last thing I'll change is the lower rank and increase it from 16 to 32. The higher value helps the AI learn more fine grained details. I find this helps make the AI photos a bit more realistic. The last step is creating the training process. This takes about 20 to 30 minutes. I've already trained a model before, so I'll use that. By the way, if you want to download the model words for yourself, you can do that here. Now let's generate AI images of ourselves in different movie scenes. All you have to do is add the trigger word from earlier inside your prompts. In my case, that's T-O-P-R-T. I'll put myself inside the Star Wars universe by also prompting for on the left is a stormtrooper and on the right is a stormtrooper. I'll change the aspect ratio to a widescreen 16 to 9 to get landscape photos. And let's bump up the number of images generated each time to 4. Finally, I'll increase the number of inference steps. Using the higher value here can give you a bit more extra detail and sharpness in the image. That's it for the settings, let's go ahead and generate our movie scenes. Here's the deal, the quality of the results you get depends heavily on the data set that you use to train the AI model. If you had blurry and low res images inside your data, that's what you can expect to see here. My data set was okay, the photos I trained weren't super high quality. So I could get even better results if I used better looking photos inside my data set. You can prompt for all sorts of different situations. Try being specific with the colors and scenery in the background. Whether it's a cozy living room or a futuristic city. You'll get the best results if you generate closer shots of your face. The smaller the face is in the image, the less detailed it'll be. By the way, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more tutorials like this. Here's the final tip for using Replicate. To find a specific model you trained, Go to your dashboard and scroll down to the recent trainings. The IDs of all your trained models are here. You can click on any of them to generate images with it. So we have the images down. Before we turn those into videos, let's create some AI voiceovers. I'm going to use Eleven Labs to actually clone my real voice into the AI. To do that, go to the Voices tab and then on the right, click on Add a New Voice. you got two options for doing this. The Instant Voice Cloning and the Professional Voice Cloning. The instant voice is a faster and easier option. Give it a name and just upload a short audio file of yourself speaking. Make sure the audio is clean and there isn't too much background noise. Then in the description, roughly describe what you sound like. I'll go with a young American man. After that, go ahead and add the voice. You'll be able to use it instantly. Inside the personal tab here, you'll be able to see all the different voices you've cloned underneath. I have a couple different variations for myself. Select this Use button and inside the text box, you can add in the script you want the AI to generate. It sounds fairly similar to you, but there can be some inflections that sound AI generated. To get the best results, you need to use professional cloning, which is what I did for the clip shown in this video. It's the same process as Instant Voice. You'll need to upload an audio file with at least 10 minutes of your own voice. And it'll actually train a customized AI model specifically tailored to you, which can take a few hours. When that's done, you'll be able to use it in the same way. That's how I generated all the audio shown inside this tutorial.
The quality and sound is very similar to your actual voice. It can be hard to tell the difference. We have our AI images generated, and we also have the AI voice clone of ourselves. As a bonus extra step, I'm going to upscale the resolution of the images using Magnific. This is a completely optional step, but I find if you increase the resolution of the images before animating them using the AI video generator, you'll get sharper results. So I just upload my photos and set the upscaler type to soft portraits. Then to make sure the upscaled images look like me, I'll turn up the resemblance and that'll give us some pretty good detail in our upscaled images. They look quite a bit sharper than before. Finally, it's time to create the AI videos. I'm using Kling AI for this. It's my favorite AI video generator right now. I'll head to the video generation interface. Since we have photos to animate, let's go to image to video. And I'll upload an AI photo of myself I generated earlier. In the prompt, carefully describe the actions you want to take inside the scene. You can animate all sorts of different motions and movements. I'll ask for the Asian man points a magical wand, subtle motion. The subtle motion part prevents the AI from generating overly drastic actions, which can lead to some warping or deformations. In the settings, you can choose between a 5 or 10 second video. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm leaving it at 5 seconds. Let's hit that generate button. When you're writing your prompts, imagine yourself writing a script for a movie scene. Add in different movements like hand gestures or facial expressions. The AI excels with small gestures and body movements. Even raising a lightsaber in the air works great. But if you try really big and fast motions like running away from a T-Rex, it can cause some distortion, so try to avoid those. The last thing we need to do is lip sync our AI clone voice with the videos we created. Underneath the generated video, click on match mouth type. The AI buffers for a minute to analyze the videos. Make sure your face is inside the entire video clip. When that's done, you can upload an audio file to lip sync. I've prepared a bunch of them with our AI voice clone. Just upload that in here, you'll be able to preview the sound. I'll hit lip sync to process it, this takes a few minutes. And let's see how the results turn out. This purple fluffy guy over here is my best friend. The lip sync works well even if the head moves around a bit, which is really cool. If you want to generate the absolute highest quality videos using Kling AI, go watch this tutorial over here.